Um, butterfly farming is an industry that's been going on for 20, 30 years in, in a big way. Uh, a lot of people grow butterflies all over the world as a sustainable, sustainable agriculture, kind of like um, in the rainforest, instead of stripping the land and growing a crop for two or three years and having the land be barren, they actually need the virgin rainforest to get the butterflies. Uh, there's a lot of money in it. There's a lot of places like the butterfly conservatories around the world that buy butterfly pupa and they need to have a constant supply of them and butterfly pupa can be anywhere from a dollar to five, six dollars each and usually a butterfly conservatory will get four or five hundred a week. So um, they're shipped all over the world. There's um, permits obviously required and there's another huge industry with the wedding industry where people raise butterflies to release at weddings so all around the world and I know now in the United States it's becoming a big thing to get butterflies and for, for weddings and uh, so a lot of people do that. It's kind of as a side business or a hobby but butterfly farming is uh, kind of an important uh, industry all around the world. Yeah, a lot of people have butterfly gardens and uh, a good way to butterfly farm is to plant the kind of plants that the caterpillars would eat. So if you do some research and figure out what each kind of butterfly feeds on, you can plant that plant in large numbers and then you can grow them in cages and clip food every day and have them in small cages around your house. So butterfly farming can be something where it's a small scale thing in somebody's house or it can be large with greenhouses and all sorts of uh, acres of land.